where's the button where I throw my bag into the lake? Oh, dear me. This game really can break your heart sometimes. And this is shot number three. Hey everyone, this is Ray Carcillo with Classic Game Room, and today we're looking at John Daly's Pro Stroke Golf for the PS3. With there being such a lack of competition for EA's Tiger Woods series, the plaid panted one himself figured he should step up a little bit. I mean, how hard could it be to make a decent golf game, right? John Daly's Pro Stroke Golf is interesting because it's compatible with the PS3 Move controller and the DualShock controller. Both give very different experiences and could make for very different reviews, but luckily I played with both. The move is held like you would hold the handle of a golf club. Using the sensors and PSI, the game can tell just how hard you're swinging and if you turn your wrists a little to slice the ball. This adds an unnecessary level of difficulty to the game though, especially if you're like us here in the underwater base, where we don't have a lot of room to maneuver with motion games. With the move controller so unforgiving, it'll be very hard to do the motion perfect every time, and swinging your arm one-handed with a video game controller oh, is very yeah, different yeah. to swinging a driver, and so anyone who has played golf may have difficulty trying to compensate 18, for the clear weight and momentum differences. It's also more difficult to line up shots for putts, as the buttons on the move controller don't utilize all the helps of the game as you would like. When you use the dual shock, on the other hand, it may take a little getting used to and might be a little harder to get off that great drive at first, but it can fully utilize all the helps the game offers and can make all those frustrating putts just a little bit easier. Of course, after a while though, this could make the game too easy if you really put the time in to learn all the nuances of the controller. I'm thinking the dual shock is probably the way to go. today's big guns love. Any par 5 where you can hit the green in 2 is going to be popular. I think so, controllers aside, how is John Daly's Pro Stroke Golf as a golf game? Honestly, not very good. There's your standard quick match that lets you and up to four friends either online or locally jump onto a course of your choosing out of the dozen or so featured in the game, but after this there's just not much to it. I mean, there is a helpful tutorial mode to help you get used to whatever controller you're using, but beyond that, an exhibition, there's just nothing to the game. The career mode forces you into facing off against John on challenges before you can even begin to unlock the Pro Tour courses and actually go into some stroke play. These challenges might be fun if they were simply a side option, but since they constitute almost the entirety of career mode, you'll probably get frustrated if you're just looking to customize a character and go play a round of 18. Overall, John Daly's Pro Stroke Golf is a severe disappointment. The controls with the PS Move are difficult at best, and the look of the game is barely average. Not to mention John is probably one of the most forced voices I've ever heard in the game, as he recommends that you just rip it and rip it at every hole. With a severe lack of depth to the overall experience on top of these other woes, clearly, at least Tiger's still winning in the virtual golf courses. John, in the end, you triple bogeyed on this one. Getting the right club is crucial here. Let's see how it goes. Great shot. 